Each element will emit a unique emission spectra. These include unique colors and unique wavelengths of light. This phenomena is tied to the arrangement of electrons around an atom and the varying energy levels, sublevels, and orbitals that are unique to each element. Using a simplified Bohr model of an atom, we can note that when an atom absorbs energy from its environment, an electron will move from a lower energy level, or ground state, to a higher energy level, or excited state. Electrons have a tendency to drop from a higher energy level to a lower energy level. So once they are in an excited state, they will release their extra energy and drop to a ground state. The energy they release is in the form of a photon or light. That photon will have the same energy as the difference in the two energy levels in the atom, from the excited state to the ground state. The energy of the photon also determines its color in the visible spectrum of light. For all light, the energy of the photon is inversely proportional to the wavelength or color of light. As the energy of the photon increases, the wavelength decreases or becomes shorter. This results in colors closer to the violet end of the spectrum. As the energy of the photon decreases, the wavelength increases. These are colors closer to the red end of the spectrum. Electrons can drop all the way from their excited state to their ground state, releasing the most energetic photon possible. Or they can drop in multiple steps from the excited state to the ground state. This results in multiple lower energy photons being released. This produces the many unique and varied spectra of elements. These light spectra are often said to be as unique as fingerprints in humans and are used as a means of identifying elements and substances.